Hey, bunchy friends! I look at bird. So, um, I don't know if I made it that intro on the video, but today we're gonna do some plenty updates and I'm also gonna show you guys some propagation updates. I was experimenting with perlite and <laughs> the goat and um perlite and sphagnum moss. Um great results on both and I'm gonna show you in a bit. And today is also the wedding day. When I was filming the video, it was the practice day. But today is the big day, it starts at three, but we're gonna be there at two because we're gonna practice. Um, I am really antisocial. I have social anxiety, like a lot of us, a lot of y'all do too. I don't like people. I don't even like myself. So, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I'm really, really nervous. Uh, by the time we see this video, it should already pass by. And thank God, Thanksgiving was my first time making Thanksgiving dinner and girl, it was a lot, a lot of fun though. I really do enjoy cooking. Um, I just, it's expensive <laughs> and then it's very time consuming, but today is going to be the last day of all this borlote and then we have a couple weeks of a break and then we're going to start preparing for the Christmas party, the Christmas day and then New Year's and after that, my birthday! Oh my god, like let's nobody go down, but <laughs> I mean, I, I honestly like, honestly same because like, it's just a birthday, like we're going to celebrate another year that I'm getting older. No, but I would say like it's a it's a blessing if when you complete your birthday because like as it makes sense, you know what I mean? Because like some people don't have that luxury, sadly, and it's a blessing. So it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Um yeah, I'm all good, ready. I'm literally just procrastinating. I don't wanna go. I really don't wanna go. But um we just have to rep this bandit out and I'm going for my mom just to be supportive. Um it's just my mom, so I have to. But um I, that's the intro hope you guys enjoyed so this is video which i filmed it yesterday but editing is still work okay so yeah let's just get started it has been crazy these past days <laughs> just woke up i'm making some coffee but i want to give you guys a quick little update on the apartment as well the plant room we have finally set up the heater it turns off automatically to make it nice and warm and cozy i can show you the temperature and humidity but everything is looking well, crazy, but it feels so good in here. It's 82.6 and 62% humidity. Um, I placed Thai in this little suction because I want the roots to go in here. Now I know that this is not really how you do it, but so I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna experiment. I probably should have been experimenting on my tie, but it's whatever, it's fine. I'm just so excited for the new leaf, you guys. That's pretty cool too. So pretty. I'm gonna do it, it looks insane. No, it's super duper happy with the light. I just finished putting a lot of plants yesterday, especially on my split leaf lodendron. You guys, I got a new plant. Got a new little plantita. Where is she? Here it is. Ficus triangulus variegated. Another kind of finicky. Very finicky, but I always wanted one. And I used to always see them back then. And I was like, for 13 something, like, oh, I really, really want to make it happen. So. <clears throat> I'm doing a lot of lights, making sure it's happy. This is actually new. I don't know what this is from, but yes. The lid is looking nice and juicy. New leaf coming in. Pero, amazing. My Hamalanea, I believe that's what it's called, just put out this beautiful new leaf. Ignore the other leaf that's very crispy. So gorgeous. And then there is a new one coming in. Not everything is looking great, like this is dead, this was a fail. But my very good string of hearts is putting out some nice growth. And my Aglumina tricolor, look at that. Yeah, it's a money bug, but it's looking great. And this Hoya is pretty cool, it just, looks insanely red when it puts out new leaves. Um, I already cut off the bloom. I suppose I can cut it back to another, like one of these little nodes thingies and it could release another flower. 
But even then, it's gonna bloom again, which is literally insane. And look at all of those new roots. So crazy. This alocasia had spider mites, and um, I just took care of it yesterday. I rinsed it off, that's basically, I didn't spray anything, I just, you know, washed off the leaves. And it looks pretty good as of now. I'm gonna be on top of it. I don't wanna lose it. I just wanna, like, I really wanna, like, you know, try <laughs> and not let these pests get the best of me, but so pretty. Beautiful. Um, yesterday, I rinsed off my Hoya Carnosa. Or get it, that's what it's called. And then my other Hamalinea, that's what it's called, was infested with Nellies as well. This anthurium was infested with Nellies. Nellies. And my boyfriend and I just ended up getting some key tips from alcohol, we dabbed the entire plant, so like where there was those pests, and then I rinsed it off in the tub, and I'm hoping that she will bounce back. This one, I just wanted to make it happen, y'all. Like, it's a, I think it's a real, but ugh, she's, she's taking her sweet time. My piece of lettuce was reverting to green because it wasn't getting enough light. But look at the, the new leaves. I just got like a lot of light and look at that. We're back in business. So that's really, really good. I do want to divide it, but then I just want to keep it nice and bushy. So I don't know. What is some other fun stuff that I want to show y'all? I mean, there's a lot, but like, I need my coffee right now, so. <laughs> uh, la, la. Maranza's looking pretty and it's very common, but it looks good. And then this one is finally putting out a new little shoot. My reel that I did by cuttings. Honestly, these containers, I haven't even checked them. I know they're crazy with roots. The thing is, I ran out of soil, so I need to go and buy more soil to repot these babies. There's a lot of fun plants that I do enjoy. And I have the other one right in the back. So, I need soil really bad. <laughs> My focus is playing out. Look at this new leaf. Do y'all see that? And then over here too. Oh my god. I just love focus. It's like, I know, like, they're starting to get a trend. <laughs> They're just super, super cool, like when you kind of get them big. It's just so rewarding, the leaves look really, really cool. It's always fun to see how they're gonna turn out. But, oh my kid, the is still slain. She is still slain. Slain, 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 I love that for her. But um, yes, and my mustache is supposed to be kind of still doing really, really good. She just does not like to dry out at all. She gets really mad. It's <sighs> nice and firm. A lot of plants were thirsty yesterday. For some reason, like the plant gene just activated. <laughs> and I was doing a lot of plant tours yesterday because I don't know. I just I have my moments when I really do enjoy it and just really want to like spend a lot of time with them. My lipstick plant. I could put up more flowers. She's so crazy. <laughs> Woo! But yeah, that's a little update, you guys. I do want to do some chores with y'all. I got to go to a practice wedding today. And then tomorrow is the actual wedding for my mom, so. Mm-hmm. Go get some coffee. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, also my Hoya, my vacuum broke, I don't know, I need to fix it. This Hoya has aphids. <sighs> I hate aphids so much. Here are some cuttings that I was rooting. Look at that. It's because these are so big, I want to train these to go up. Um, I know that I love a good golden those and they're really kind of big, so I just want to see if I can make it get bigger. And Thurian is looking pretty. This plant takes a sweet time. <laughs> I don't know. Here's yeah, some cuttings that I did. I, think, I don't know if I showed you, but of my skin dapses and um, J skin dapses. This one can go a little bit. No, it's okay. So they have roots. I'm just waiting for them to like settle down. But yes. 
I look so not okay. <laughs> I did gain some pounds. David got depressed. <laughs> and then the holidays came in, so. I made an entire dinner, so I had to like, you know, try the food. That's probably where I got fat. <laughs> also, I do need a haircut. I know that. We're gonna be using my cliche mug, cause like, I bought it and I wanna use it. You can see what I did though, too. Oop. <laughs> so not a comment box. There was so much cleaning needed, needed, needed to do. And I was like hunting for my Christmas decor. I was like, where the hell is my Christmas decor? <sighs> like, what is going on? I know they have a peppermint one. I really, 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 really want it. But cream is so fat and I'm trying to like lose some pounds, but that's not gonna happen. <laughs> like, I mean, I gotta be realistic considering the fact that tamales and pozo like you know christmas and new year's i come in yeah so i gotta like stop with that it's like <laughs> it's not gonna happen let me get my sugar because like i have posted for i don't even know how long like what i really want off the radar mm -hmm. put some sugar back then i used to put a lot but people like sort of like attack me for that so I'm only putting two teaspoons so you can like, you know, yell at me. Coffee, clean a little bit. We can do something short, because I, I don't know, I'm really starting to like enjoy it. It's because like for me, if I have a lot of things to do, I can't enjoy my planters because I feel like I gotta be doing those things. But now I feel like I'm a little bit caught up, which doesn't last that long. <laughs> I want to enjoy this moment. I need a haircut, so I look crazy. Um, I want to enjoy the moment right now, so coffee, some fun YouTube videos I'm going to watch, the weather, and then my toys and cleaning, so. I want to see if I can take you guys along. I don't get overwhelmed and stressed out. You good. Protect those teeth. Okay. Alrighty, so before we end the video, okay, as you can see, I got a haircut. I look. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys some propagation updates on some cuttings that I've been propagating. And I honestly haven't seen them for a hot minute. So, let me look. Is it gonna stick? Y'all, oh my god, hold on. This is, okay, I think it's a little bit better. Ay, esta pelo no más, no. Okay, let me show you propagations. It's getting hot. After this, I have to go to my mom's practice wedding because tomorrow is going to be the big day for her. Uh, I'm gonna see a lot of strangers. Okay. This is my, um, oh my god, wait, what? So this is my propagations from Perlite. And you can actually see some air roots on this Hoya courtesy eye. That's really, really fun. This one in here, oh, it's my scandapsis. Oh my god, wait, what? This have been propagating for, I think a month. It's been a hot time. But I like it because it's a lot cleaner. It doesn't like, I love propagating spider the moss, but it's very, and it propagates fast, but it needs to be clean. Um, and you can only use it so much before it starts to get bad. So it's just, it's a little bit finicky. I used to like go hardcore spider the moss, but I know there's a lot of reasons why not to do it. Like not to be using spider the moss. And I get it with perlite, cause like, look at this condapsis jade roots it looks really good flabbergasted this is a jacena potos it has some error roots error roots it has some actual roots development is it gonna focus not that insane like in spagna the moss but it's still roots this is my hoya i don't see nothing in there it's just 
basic, but it's still nice and firm. It's not like rotting. My hair courtesy, I really did love the perlite. What else do I have in here? The sleep was completely submerged. Um, nothing in the Hoya. Kind of sad because I really did want to that one to root. <gasps> okay, this one did root it. Oh my god. You see that? <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Like right there. I'm touching it with my thumb. This is one of my favorite Hoyas, you guys. I finally got one that rooted. The Jades really did love the pearl lights. Look at that. See the blues? Should it be crazy rooted? Because, yeah. Well. Barely anything. Um, I do have, oh my god, this is my Philodendron Gracielia, I think so. I can show you the leaf. Look at the root. Look how long this white fuzzy root is. Um, Hoya Wayeti, or I think it's called String Beans. Has some roots. The camera work is so bad, but I'm doing my best. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. So, pretty good, pretty, pretty good. I don't want to take out too much because then I got to put it back inside, but I'm really surprised with those condapses and that one Hoya. Y'all see, it's like right on those roots. Really exciting. Um, where's the other container? Let me put up the other container. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them out. So I feel like putting them back inside. But I did want to show you before I leave over there. This one isn't sphagnum moss. It's crazy. I already know it's going to be some crazy root development in this little fabrication container that I got from Dollar Tree. Looks like a salad. Maybe after if it's still open, I'll go to Lowe's and buy some potting mix so I can do a repotting because a lot of these are ready to get repotted. I don't even know, you guys, they're all rooted. Like they're literally, I have my, this is one, this wasn't completely, this wasn't even submerged in the medium, in sphagnum moss, and it already has a root. And it's my Jusena Potos. Um, this is my Hoya. The one that I show you, Hoya. I just said it, but this one. Look at those roots. Can y'all see that? Has a lot of white fuzzy roots compared to the one in perlite. Um, this one is my variegated green heartly philodendron. I have a lot of those in here because I want to make the mother plant more bushy and. I wanted more because they're just one of my look at that like I need <laughs> I needed more they're just so beautiful and look at that ball like there is a lot of sphagnum moss in there I don't want to pull it out but you can see like the white root and it's also putting out a new shoe so that's really really good a lot of these are literally ro ro rooted it's not like I said rotted but rooted look at that one so much fun I love this. Like. And then I also have my Mosteros Azipicana. Am I saying that correctly? Oof, look at that. There's two in here. This is my another green heart leaf philodendron, variegated. You can see those white fuzzy roots. And then the Mosteros Azipicana. Look at those roots. Crazy. So beautiful, you guys. Oh my gosh. It's always fun to like look at the roots. I don't always look in this box, but when I do, it's always exciting. This is a Jacena Potos. You can see those roots. So that's basically what's going on in the propagation boxes. 
I'm gonna see if I can go to the store and buy some potty mix so I can pot these up already and set them up. I do have a heater on in the plant room. It's already like natural cream, it's like in the 60s always. Um, yeah, I am planning on getting rid of some plants. Like not like in a bad way, just like I have way too many clones because like I love propagating plants and I don't need that many. I'm trying to make up more space. But um I don't have into this one. This is another one. The spider moss is literally bone dry. Kinda dry. I don't know what happened. I don't know why it stopped. <gasps> and I make favorite Hoyas! This one! They got from Plantarina. It's putting out some beautiful roots. So I need to go spray this. Oh, I think it's because it was developing mold. Not mold, but like, uh, it's like white fuzzy stuff. It's annoying. I need to water this. Do I have any water? I'm gonna get some water from the fish tank. Just a little bit. It's my boyfriend's fish tank. Like he has um, a container with like baby guppies. Uh, a mother gave 10 babies, like around there, so that's pretty fun. And what are these? I also do have some Hoya Chelsea propagations in here, and I have a lot of containers, you guys, like, and we just got Taco Bell. So I have more of these babies, which are literally great for propagation. It's dark in the bottom. Alrighty, so I'm back. But yes, give it some water. Just for right now, I'm gonna give it more water later on. Literally so excited. And I guess I don't know if I said it, but I do have some Hoya Chelsea Hoyas rooting I spank them off. So I just have some other containers propagating, but that is basically it. Alrighty, but friends, that is basically it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Sending a positive advice to each and every one of you. I should be getting back on my filming schedule. Um it's just all over the place with these holidays. I, re I should really get back. I don't think I have anything else big coming up. I think that's it. So I miss posting daily. It was a good break, an unexpected break. I, w I didn't even plan this at all. I just like, I have way too much to play. I'm just gonna drop this and focus on what's important, family. And yeah, but now everything's good. So not really, because we still haven't gone to the wedding yet. But oh, I don't wanna go. I really don't wanna go. You gotta suck it up and go. And I had a coffee, and it's like coming up, because you know when you get coffee, you gotta go. I have that really, really bad. And for some reason, today, he doesn't wanna go. Like, I bought it. Like, I'm scared. I don't wanna use, I don't like using public restrooms. Because like, I don't want people to like hear my stuff. And that's a lot of information that I'm telling you. So, um, yeah, okay. I love you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Wish me luck.